beautiful day here in Lamisure Bay. We are going to do some hiking on St. John. The Lamisure Bay Trail and the Reef Bay Trail I think we'll connect to for a little bit. And uh, we're going to see some petroglyphs and ruins and uh, we shall see. So here we go. All right, let's find this trail. So we've hiked over by Little Lamisure Bay. which is right next to, just right next to the uh, Great Lamisher Bay that we're in. Equally beautiful, it seems. We found the trailhead and started the hilly hike, which would be about five miles round trip. The scenery of the south side of St. John is amazing, and you rarely come across more than just a few people in a day. Got termites or something eating this wood here, and we can see little bits coming out. Something has something in there eating on it. That's pretty cool. Yeah, we can see Holiday down there. Oh, what a view. Nice. That's Little Lamisher in the foreground and Great Lamisher in the background. The hilly terrain made the hiking challenging at times, but the serene natural beauty around us made it all worth the effort. It was awesome to catch glimpses of the coast and the blue water of the Caribbean Sea from up high as we hiked along the ridge through the mountains. There's like a furry animal back in there, like making noises at us. It's, I, it's looking at us right now. It? Oh, it's some sort of like a ferret or like mongoose or something. We'll have to look that up later and see what kind of little mammals live on St. John. Yeah. 
After about an hour of hiking, we were approaching the area with the ancient petroglyphs. What a beautiful spot. The petroglyphs are right over there. Look at that. It was amazing to imagine an ancient native civilization around this freshwater oasis. We took the hour-long hike back to Holiday, feeling lucky to see all the beautiful sights for a second time. All right, we got back from our hike. It was a beautiful hike. And uh, now we've sailed off the mooring and we're just going to jib sail from here back over to Keneal Bay, which will kind of complete our circumnavigation of St. John via the British Virgin Islands and St. Croix. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it's about 6.2 miles over that way. Should be awesome. And we're going to be right next to Cruise Bay, which is the main city of St. John, which we haven't been to. So uh, we're planning to stay there for a few days and check it out. Having been cruising in the U.S. Virgin Islands and British Virgin Islands for nearly two months, we were starting to think about and plan for moving on into the Caribbean. We had done and seen just about all the things the Virgin Islands has to offer, and our next jump would be the long passage to St. Martin. was an awesome little sail. Here we are, back to Keneal Bay. <laughs> Sweet. Joe Van Dyke over there, 
St. Thomas in the background. Looks pretty nice. All right, it's time to head in and go check out Cruise Bay, the largest city on St. John. And we're really interested in getting off the boat because water bladder leaked again so we've pulled it out we found the holes in it it keeps leaking where it's creased down there and we've flex taped it along the crease the two holes were here and here so yeah the boat's a mess but uh we think we've got it fixed and we're just going to leave the boat apart to dry like this because there's water in all kinds of places and uh, go check out Cruise Bay. Probably get a few jugs of water while we're in there to replace what leaked. We were excited to check out Cruise Bay, the commercial center and main port of St. John. St. John's population is a mere 4,000 people and three quarters of that population lives here in Cruise Bay. First we found an awesome Mexican restaurant called Gringo's to hang out at. We loved the nature and the solitude of St. John's south coast but we also love going to the larger cities and exploring all the fun things they have to offer. The Wi-Fi was good, so I took the opportunity to upload a video. We're gonna upload the video, hang out for a little bit, and then uh, check out the rest of Cruise Bay. So we've been hanging around in Canille Bay and also Maho and Francis Bay, where we are now, for uh, the better part of a week. The weather is not right for us to go to St. Martin, so even though we've done most all the things we want to do here in the U.S. Virgin Islands and British Virgin Islands, uh, we're going to be here longer, maybe even three weeks or more. So, uh, or who knows, we have no idea. <laughs> Today we are going to sail over to Red Hook on St. Thomas. We haven't been there yet. It's a city where we can do laundry, do grocery shopping. Uh, some friends of ours are there, uh, hang out with them. Lindy's uh, dropping the mooring right now. We're going to uh, sail off of it without the motor, I guess. That should be pretty cool. The wind's coming straight from that way, so we'll just sort of fall off. Nothing's behind us. Throw out the jib and uh, jib sail all the way six miles to Red Hook. Yep. All right, watch out for the sail.
pretty good. How we doing, Lindy? Good. All right. So nice to not hear any engine noise. Awesome. All right, we're leaving St. John behind. For now, <laughs> I'm sure we'll be back, or I would imagine we would. And we're sailing across towards St. Thomas, Redbook. Over here we've got uh, Great St. James Island, where we spent Christmas, Christmas Cove. We haven't even had to trim the jib or which sides of the sail? It's just, uh, that's nice. We should be there uh, in about uh, 20 minutes, so. Cool. Pillsbury Sound is the body of water between St. Thomas and St. John, protected to the north by a row of mostly uninhabited barrier islands. Red Hook is a moderately large city on St. Thomas's east end. Since it's much closer to St. John and the British Virgin Islands than Charlotte Amalia, most cruisers head here for reprovisioning. The waterfront area is full of shopping and restaurants, as well as a major ferry terminal servicing St. John, the British Virgin Islands, and even St. Croix. Okay, we got a mooring Yay. right here in Red Hook next to our friends on Annabella, TC and Z. This looks like a happening spot. Today we are going into Red Hook and we are going to attempt to take a safari bus, which is the local transportation here. It's a dollar a person to go basically anywhere on the island. Uh, we've seen them all around. They're like open air buses, but we've never taken one. Yeah, we're going to try to go to Kmart and do a little uh, shopping. Should be an adventure. <laughs> Ready for some safari busing? Yes. You think we'll be successful? I think so. <laughs> I think we'll get somewhere. We will we'll get somewhere. Hopefully it's where we want to go. Lindy's prediction. We will I get, like it. We will get somewhere. <laughs> I think we're near the Kmart. <laughs> we did it. We probably got off a little early, but <laughs> better early than missing. So we made it to Kmart, do some shopping, and then figure out how in the world to get back. <laughs> so chore day in Red Hook is going well. We've done our shopping at Kmart and uh, dropped off the propane tank to be filled. And now, we're in the laundromat. Cleaning up the clothes. <laughs> the laundry room has some uh, special guests, I guess. It'll be about time to stop doing chores though after this and do something fun. So we've been in Red Hook a few days now. We've been going out to eat, uh, doing some shopping. There's a lot of different uh, services here because it's a, it's a busy town. Uh, every day, just multiple ferries leave from right here going to St. John and other areas of St. Thomas and I think even the British Virgin Islands. So it makes for a place with plenty to do and lots of convenience. So yeah, 
We're actually heading to get some Wi-Fi so I can upload a video right now and we're gonna look at the weather and see if we can figure out uh, where and uh, what we're gonna do next. You like Red Hook, babe? Yeah. Been, been pretty cool. I think there's a spot over there with some Wi-Fi. Let's go look for it. During our week in Red Hook, most of our time was spent here at the Yacht Harbor waterfront. Similar to Cruise Bay, there was plenty of restaurants and all kinds of fun to get into. We're all set up and the Wi-Fi seems fast, so we're uploading. We got some breakfast here. What'd you get for breakfast, babe? I got a ham, egg, and cheese uh, sandwich on a muffin. Looks pretty good. All right. Nice little place here. Yeah, so just be hanging here for a little bit. Well, we've had a nice six nights here in Red Hook, uh, but it's time to move on. We're going to go back to St. John. We're still waiting on weather to go to St. Martin. We're ready to do some sailing about six and a half miles back over to Maho Bay, our uh, home away from home. <laughs> After our week in civilization, we were excited to head back for our third stint in the natural beauty of Maho Bay, probably our favorite anchorage on St. John. From there, we plan to watch the weather and prepare for staging for the passage across to St. Martin. Alright, we're sailing now in Pillsbury Sound. Awesome. Beautiful day. There's St. John. As we're leaving St. Thomas, the Red Hook area. You can see Tortola is the taller island behind St. John. Alright. We're healed over pretty good here. We've got both sails reefed in, but uh, the winds are pretty high today. What do you think, Lindy? <laughs> it's always a little bit of a shock when we've been sitting somewhere for a while, you know, almost a week, and then to get out and immediately be doing sporty sailing. But uh, now we're getting more and more used to it as the season goes on. We've made our way back and forth, back and forth, and uh, we're tacking back towards Keneal Bay. And um, gonna, yeah, it's going pretty good. Wind's pretty gusty and barrier. But we've been having a good day. Soon we were tying to a mooring ball in Maho Bay after a wonderful sail where we would spend another four awesome days. Stay tuned for our next episode where we head back to the north sound of Virgin Gorda to stage for the crossing to St. Martin and then sail overnight for our longest passage since crossing the Mona. It was amazing to imagine and Nate and uh, it was amazing to imagine and Nate it was amazing to imagine a native uh, uh, uh.